up everybody and welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new video. Tell who passed English class, can ya? Welcome <laughs> to my yard. This is like the new part of the yard here that we've had done recently and it's super sick because it adds for at least, cool, I reckon I can fit, don't show them that car yet because that's a secret, but I reckon we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more cars in here and get rid of the Fiat 500 because if this is my yard that I have yeah, why to is that here? sort out and <laughs> look after and pay for, then that thing needs to leave. We've got some of my cars here. I thought we'd start the video with the shit cars so then you stick around to watch the, the, the good ones, but obviously YouTube's YouTube and you can just skip forward anyway. So here's an advert. There we go, how about that? Fucking right at the beginning. What we're gonna show you first is this. Oh, sorry, I should have said. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna give you a garage tour. I'm here with Monfrey, <laughs> Mr. Tom Peck. I only felt right. Um, just to let everybody, just to let everybody know, he is in my support bubble. So he is allowed to be here. Because uh, you need support. Huh? You need support. Well, without, without Tom Peck, there is no Adam Ivel. And that's the only <laughs> nice thing I'm ever going to say to you, Tom Peck. So write that one down in your fucking notebook. <laughs> we have got the lineup of shitters over here. So what we have right here is a EK hatch. It was an EK3. Used to run 10 seconds, I think, at the drag strip. Uh, I got this off of Jamie, I believe his name yeah. was. Super nice dude. The reason I've kept this, follow me, Tom Peck. The reason I've kept this is we are going to be selling bits off of it for parts just to try and fund the build a little bit more. But I need that bit of the roof, as you can see up there, that I've started to cut, but I need to get the big iron hill grinder on that. And in here is a JDM D15B. So we need to get that out so I can um, just never do anything with it properly, but need to get it out. Huh? Need to finish the coop. Need... Right, geez. We're updating with every car. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got these bags of shit to show them first. So yeah, this is <coughs> Finn. He acts like I don't feed him. <laughs> so this is the main reason why this hasn't gone anywhere yet. And by them dragging it over here without us getting the engine out, it's now caused an absolute arse ache. But we will deal with it <laughs> somehow. Maybe we'll borrow a forklift off somebody. I don't know. It'll be funny anyway. But we'll get there in the end. Oh, so real quick competition time baby if you want to win yourself 261 stickers and a pair of our new mechanics gloves these are multi-use so they're not just for working on your car but they are our own 61 branded workman's slash women's gloves um they're unisex so they're sick so let me know which one of the cars is your favorite and let me know what you would do to uh one of the cars if it was yours let me know down below just leave me a comment on based off of one of the cars and my favorite comment will win a pair of gloves these are size small to extra extra large we have them all in stock even though we are running low on a couple of the sizes already they've sold really well and if you don't win you can still grab yourself some on the link down below cheers guys good luck next up is this wonderful machine <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh every time I see it. My 80 pound Mercedes. This fucking camera's so heavy. Okay, so you're actually whinging? Yeah, I am actually fucking Why? whinging. Because uh, you've got a perfectly good Sony or a GoPro, and you've got this fucking. I like using this one for the vlogs, all right? right. I'm not paying you for nothing. Because Bocker does. Huh? What? What did you say? Because Bocker does. Bocker doesn't use I that know camera, he doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, here is my Mercedes uh, C Class. Now, I didn't realise when buying it for 80 British puns. The, it's got AMG wheels on it, legit AMG wheels, and the, the pièce de résistance, uh, a genuine AMG body kit, from what I understand. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Also, apparently this grey leather interior is worth some money. Um, so, up until I picked up that thing that you're not allowed to see yet, uh, I was going to daily this through the winter. Uh, the dog stinks when he's wet, so I was just like, I'm fed up with him. I'm making excuses. I just like old cars, alright? So that's why I was going to use this. But and wasting good money. So, yeah. Basically, <laughs> fuck money. It doesn't make anybody happy, um, but things do. So I don't know yet. I don't know whether to go out of my way and fix it up because I've got some parts now, or just break it for parts and then put that money back into some more of the projects. Not sure yet. We'll see how the next four or five weeks pan out. We'll see. But yeah, still got it. Nothing's happened with it apart from we cleaned it and now it's just dying a death. And then as we walk forward some more, baby, we have the free car. They just keep, well, they out of free cars here and uh, they all cost me to buy 80 quid. <laughs> Master me. <laughs> this thing is, it's basically done. I just can't be fucked. I think that's like the, 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 the crux of the matter. I just, 
I, over the last few months, I've just lost all enthusiasm for doing like the builds and stuff. So I've just thought, let's take a little break from it. What does this need? It needs an alignment put on it. Ignition barrel. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's done. Why would I do that? I just started off a fucking screwdriver. So we don't need to do that anymore. So we need to put the harnesses in, bolt the seat in properly, alignment, new tires, send it. So the list for this isn't massive. I really like how it looks. I need to raise the rear a little bit because, well, or change the tire size basically when we order new ones, because um, it's basically sitting on the arches and it's really not low enough to justify that. But I thought that was a number plate. I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, um, it looks great. It's a cool it's a cool car. I figured out how to get bypass it mobilized. If anybody needs any E36 stealing, I'm your man. And uh, <laughs> yeah, basically the whip's the whip. It's a bag of turd and it will be absolutely smashed to bits as soon as I can be bothered to get off my ass and do it. Maybe if you share this video, it'll encourage me more to go and do it. <laughs> then here we have the Fiat 500. This is um, just a car that's in the family. It was my sister's first car, but then my mum had it off her to use it for camping and shit. But it's jokes, because it, she can like, tow it behind the van. But like, this thing is like, so good. Like, yeah, you've, I, you've used it a few times, Oh, I it? love it. I think they're brilliant cars. Like, I, everyone hates these. Look, I even rep it on the whip. Because <laughs> I just think, these are so good. Like, for the money, they're quality, but it's not mine, so who cares? Next up, the van. The van. <laughs> I love this wagon, man. Like, so, I had put it up for sale because did you just show him that car again? No. I'll fucking fuck you up and oh, do Shut mate. up. Corona or not, geezer. I'll fucking shut pop up in your face. I'll fucking so, pound you. This beast, I had put it up for sale, but if I can get the money back that it owes me and sound, then I had every dickhead in the world waste my time with it. I couldn't be asked, and I was like, do you know what? Let's sort it out. So, this is going to be one of the things I really focus on once the Sylvia's done, which we'll get to in a moment, um, because I want to change the electrics in it. There has to be guides online. Like, I'm, I, there has to be. There has to be a way for me to learn how to do this and not kill myself. Or just get Owen over and not pay him. <clears throat> nah, fuck that. He's, he's not getting paid for the M3 stuff he's going to do, so I can't keep taking the <laughs> But the, the van is... It's, I had such a good time in it when I did go and use it, and it needs a bit of work. It's going to need some welding on one side. I think it's going to need some new brake pipes on the rear. Ideally, it could do with a new engine with a turbo and a V8 or something. I don't know. 2JZ, I don't know, but for, for, for now I just want to get it running, I want the electrics to work so I can actually go camping in it, because I think that would be super sick, especially if travel is going to be very, very hard going forward for a little while. So this could be just a like, nice little escape on the weekends, can go get wrecked and write some jokes and stuff in it and, you know, live that, that, that traveller life or whatever, so... <laughs> Back to your roots. I didn't mean traveller as in gypsy. Yeah, I know. I meant traveller as in like, skank. exploring. <laughs> I can be a van lifer. <laughs> but yeah, she's a wagon. Um, it's great. It's funny, isn't it? And I'll tell you what, I did have someone want to, want to buy it. And I've never, ever, ever declined someone's money before. But I said, like, what are you going to do with it? And he was like, I'm going to rip it out and redo it. And I was like, man, that fucking 90s porn studio is going nowhere, baby. So I was like, I'm going to keep it. To me, it's, it's worth keeping just to keep that interior alive. And yeah, I mean, it's a cool looking thing, right? That's a cool looking thing. It's a cool looking thing, right? It's a cool looking thing. I don't want to get rid of it. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Stop judging my decisions. I'm keeping this thing. It does look like a Japanese parts car. What do you mean a Japanese parts car, you cheeky fuck? <laughs> Your fucking Civic was a Japanese parts car. Oh, I still did a fucking video on that bag of turd. I got you the views, mate. Your channel bang. Fuck off. Why are you following? Oh, yeah, you're filming. <laughs> mate, it's not Call of Duty now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. It was. You're just following me around being a loot goblin. So, I know I've got like an excessive amount of cars, but we're gonna have to go on a wander to the next one. And I think this is probably one of the ones that is gonna get asked about the most, so. Come on, Tom Peck. <laughs> Let's go for an adventure. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Ta-da! I'm sorry that the light's probably crapping here and everything, but uh, you had to get out and away for a little while because I just felt a bit overwhelmed with it all. I think that's part of the reason why I just kind of sacked all this build shit off for a little while because there's just so much to do and it just costs so much money and there's just everything trying to chase parts from everyone with all of this whilst trying to do it as YouTube and whinging. It is what it is. I just decided for my own sanity, this thing needs to get tucked away. I haven't got rid of it. It's still here. We still own it. It's just now in a yard, in a barn somewhere. You've heard it now, has it? No, like, it's tucked away. It will come back one day. Um, gonna, once we've got the Sylvia finished, then the van finished, this should then come back. So this will then be the, the proper build. The and we'll go, 
we'll do it a bit more properly and like design so basically what I want to do is I want this to like be all like actually usable I'd love for this to come down a little bit and like make some design for it and stuff and just make it like real cool and that's going to need time and some effort put into it neither of which I'm willing to give to it at the moment so that's why it's here should we go show them the cars they want to see now yeah. cool before we go into the garages and because the sun's going down should we just quickly go film the M3 right I'll meet you back at my house okay so now we are with the M3. I still have it. As you can see, it is ridiculously dirty. Um, I apologize for that. But I have got some updates coming. Coming. I haven't got any updates to tell. Put a new set of Pilot Sport 4S's on it. Unbelievable tires. But I've got on order the, what have I ordered? Olin's coilovers. Sorry, I ordered them so long ago, I forgot. They just, I think they're just not gonna deliver them to me. But I have paid for them. Um, Olin's road and track coilovers for it, and also the AP racing brakes. Um, I've got them at work, but please wait and please watch those videos when I upload them of us fitting them. Um, very expensive parts, but should be worth it. But still have the M3. It's still amazing. It's still my favourite car ever. It's still my dream car. I still I haven't looked after it that great recently with washing it much, but can't be asked. It's horrible weather, isn't it? Like, okay, back mm. me up here. Look at your car. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, still have this. Um, yeah. Also, I've got this. So th this is uh, this is my daily, uh, the X5, and we're gonna do an upgrade to it. Well, not an upgrade, like maintenance stuff right now. But I need to go buy it and hope it's at the garage. So. What are you getting for it? Add blue stuff. Add blue shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, it needs. You it's, it's needed it for like two weeks. That's just... really not good. <laughs> That's not okay. I'm joking. It's needed for like three days. But I, you're, I, you're I, fucking lying. No, no, no. Three days because I, I can. Three days is my maximum that I can Bollocks. put up with that. Bing, bing. What is it? Bing. You're driving. Bing's when you start it up every time. Oh, okay. It doesn't want nothing. So we'll go back to the unit now. And uh, so yeah, this is the other one. Sick. Ooh. Oh, was that YouTube magic, or did we actually go and then come back? Anyway, we're now going to look at my X5 <laughs> that I might have just picked up blue thing at stuff for um, <laughs> two weeks I haven't late. really introduced this to the channel just because like it's my daily have I carved the wheel no it's just did you touch that it's like a bizarre clean bit on the wheel there's a change um <clears throat> I haven't cleaned it in about 6,000 miles so for me this car what I, I got this car like while the pandemic was going on and I knew a lot of people were struggling and the last thing I wanted to do was just be like a youtuber that's like hey look at my fucking super flashy thing I've been saving up for one of these for ages and the X5, not the X5, the Touareg that I had that you might have seen and loved like was just causing me more issues than it was being able just to be my daily driver. I needed something reliable, I wanted something more modern, I wanted something with warranty so I didn't have to keep paying out and uh, I got a really, really good deal on this. Um, well I say a good deal, it was just a good deal anyway so I was like, you know what, let's just send it and hopefully this will be, hopefully this will be a car for a long, long time for me. I don't want to have to keep swapping dailies. I want to just, I want it something nice. I thought, fuck it, let's just get what I want. This is what I wanted. I found one in the bracket I could afford. The only thing it's missing that I really wanted was the sunroof, the big pano sunroof things, but, and it doesn't have the good sound system in we it. Can fit, only, we can fit the sunroof. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We're doing nothing to this. <laughs> um, I might, I, the only things I might do, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but these wheels are. Um, diamond cut. What are they? Uh, diamond cut. Diamond they? cut, yeah. Um, I, like I said, I haven't watched it in a long time. Uh, yeah. Well, amazingly, I forgot to actually finish my sentence and tell you what I want to do with these wheels. I think I want to do the black. I, I know that it was an OEM feature. That, that um, diamond cut stuff really doesn't wear very well at all. And I've got some corrosion in places and it's affecting how the wheel caps sit and it just bothers me a lot. So I think I'm gonna get them painted black at some point, probably in the new year. I'm gonna let the wheels get destroyed in this weather. But that's where we're at with that. Sorry, I forgot to say. I get all this funny little And like, shit you know, that it, it needs a clean. Um, might do it tonight, depends on how arsed we can be. But it's a lovely car, it's a 30D. Um, sorry, it's really dirty, but it's got the black leather. Um, black leather interior. I use it like any but any normal car. I don't treat it especially special, but it's beautiful. If you want to see more on this, I might do a little introduction video for you guys. But I'll probably look over it when I introduce the new car, um, just for banter more than anything. But should we show them the? What should we show them first? The Sylvia or the EG? Sylvia. Sylvia? I think yeah. EG because the EG's got the less to do. Okay. Sylvia first. <laughs>
So I felt really bad doing that segment earlier, looking at how dirty it was. And it's such a nice, this is like the nicest, most newest car I've ever had. Um, obviously the M3's up there, but this is just, oh, for a daily driver, you know, it's just sick. Um, so we've cleaned it, Pex helped. Um, hands are freezing now and got that horrible after soap feeling. Yeah, That's tacky. Gross. Um, but yeah, the car looks much better now. So I just want to show you, I do love it. I do, I do, I do love this whip. So, uh, yeah, really appreciate owning it. You know, it's like one of those things where I just take it all in and be like, yeah, sick. So yeah, cool, back to the video. Clean it, eh? Fuck yeah, it's clean in there. Can you see all right? Yeah. Ish, nines, okay. If you haven't ever seen it before, here is the introduction to why I'm always depressed other than women. Um, this is my 1999 Silvia S15 Spec S. It does have, currently, if you come around here, Fuck bonnet. Doesn't have an engine. <laughs> we'll have to sort that out. There's no engine in there at the moment because I have um, got the master Dave DY to actually build me one. Finally, I found someone that wanted my money and wanted to do the job at the task. I found a guy that actually is professional and when you give them the money, you get a, a product back, which is fucking amazing. Gonna pick the engine up next week, hopefully, which will be a video, it'll be absolutely fucking wicked. It's gonna rip. We've got a couple of potential tuners to use, leaning towards one that I know of at the moment, um, just could be very expensive, so I need to speak to a couple of others to see what my options are, but I've kind of got my heart set on, on Northampton Motorsport, but we'll, we'll see. Um, that's not guaranteed, but I would very much like it to be. So we, we, we will see, we're going to get the engine back in, but not straight away. How's that engine going to go back in? <sighs> Fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically what I want to do is I want to get Dan Joyce down um, to top the arches, paint the engine, uh, engine bay, sorry, uh, straighten this out. Well, we're going to straighten all this sort of stuff out beforehand anyway, but um, I've got loads of parts of this. I've got 326 power lights that you've seen on new wheels for the front. Gonna get a set for the rear or another set of black wheels for the rear, just to keep it mixed max maybe, I don't know. Um, sort the interior out again, uh, maybe repaint some of the bits and redo some other parts of it. And put, put a wider seat in the passenger side so friends can come out. Peck's gonna buy himself a seat that will then try and fit in. Uh, I do actually have that Sparco which we might be able to fit in there. But first off, we need to um, get it running. That's my main mm. port call. Running with no misfire. The new engine should be insane. Once we meet up with Dave, um, it should be sound, we should be able to do a rundown of everything, uh, everything then, and yeah, this is, this is still my main project car, this is the one that I've had for the longest, apart from the Civic now, or did I have the M3 before this? No, no, no. No, because I sold my Integra to get this, didn't mm. I? So I've had this longer than the M3. I love it, I love this car, I think the future, once it's running and everything's cushy, we're going to get some new arms for it down below, the kink arms, so it stops touching, um, uh, rear Geo Master setup, I reckon, and then probably repaint it next winter. I've got, I've got an idea of what color I want to do, so it should be pretty cool. But yeah, this is still my baby. This is still my favorite. I, I love this thing. Well, I love I love the, the Civic and the M3 as well. I love them all. They're like my three favorites. So that's where we're at. That. Let's uh, let's head forth to the to the next parking place, shall we? Let's go. Ta da! The Civic. This is. This car is the reason I have a YouTube channel. So, I've had this car for over eight years now, I think. Was it eight years, seven, eight years? So a long time I've had this thing, and oh man, it's still my favorite. I'm gonna come around here and see the damage I did on it recently. I, uh, more, more. I dropped a rear light on it after I, when I was just changing the OEM ones in. I just put the OEM amber cornered back on the rear, and I dropped it, and it cracked through, <laughs> and hell. annoying, man, but never mind. So, this car is not a show car. I have to keep reminding myself that. It gets treated like a show car, but it isn't one, and I don't want it to be. So what we're gonna be doing next up is we're actually, should we film a video tonight on this? Because I've got a couple of little bits we can do. Mm. Maybe, yeah, no? You can wash the cars quickly. Wash the cars quick and then maybe film this if we can mm. be asked. If not, it will come probably the weekend or something, but we've got some parts to chuck on this. Um, nothing major, but it still will be fun to watch because it's me and Peck, you know? <laughs> 
But yeah, we've got that, and magically appears a set of 621 gloves. Look at that, you can go buy these on the website. Um, there's gonna be some videos without real sponsors, because I just want you to come and buy some more of my stuff. So 621 gloves on the website, I'll put a little discount code on the screen for you right now, if you wanna pick some up. They're not very expensive, they're really nice quality, they're under 20 pound, um, and with your discount code, it'll give you a little bit more money off. Uh, yeah, these again, going down really well, really happy with these, and obviously, we're really trying to build 621 into something now, like I've really got my head clear and focused on where I wanna be, and there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming from me very, very soon. Um, as far as this car though, it's got some new parts going on, but you will have to stay tuned to the next episode. So hit that bell button on the channel and make sure you subscribe. I promise you, once all these builds are done and Corona fucks off. Excuse me. Can you get your feet off those sweet wheels? Toss up. I need to teach you how to effectively zoom in for a dramatic fuck event. That. What do you mean fuck that? Do you want a job? <laughs> well, you paid me. I will if it starts taking off, mate. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so basically got some new parts. Make sure you're tuned in for that. Um, I want to clean it up a little bit again because it's been a bit neglected, like all of my cars really. Um, but this one does work. This one does work. Uh, we've done the new brake fluid. Didn't show you that, but got the MTF fucking rally grade shit, whatever it is. I don't fucking know, but it's good stuff. Um, yeah, so that's that really. That's the update on the cars. Did I miss any? Nope. Definitely didn't miss any. Oh, then maybe the new one. Yeah. New car, mate. <laughs> I've never owned this brand of vehicle before, so You've if you never are owned not, one. I've never owned one, so make sure Ooh. you're subscribed. I don't know how to introduce it yet, but we will. <laughs> Big old smoke bomb. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work at the moment. What? Obviously. It, run. it runs, but you've got to work out a way to. You'll see. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Please, can you give. <laughs> Mon Frey Tom Pecker a little follow because he's obviously helping me out here today and I'm not paying him with money so you can pay him with love and internet friendship. I love my PayPal at the bottom. And if you have enjoyed, please hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you give a fuck. I'd give you more updates on the cars then. Uh, the main reason that these have not been on the channel recently is I just felt exhausted by it all. I fucking hated spending all my hours down here, especially during lockdown because this guy. What did you decide to do, mate? What did you decide to do? Sell my Honda? No, not just sell your Honda. You decided to move in with a girl who lives an hour away. So, I lost my best pa! <laughs> and, the, <coughs> and the audience in the camera lost their favourite fucking part of my channel! But, we're going to try and get him back as much as we can. He's on furlough now, so and he's part of my support bubble. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he happily licks the handrails I touch after me, so... <laughs> it's all cushy, right? <laughs> Share <laughs> oh, That's so disgusting. <laughs> Speaking of masks, you can go grab one from 60 on. Come five ninety nine. Lovely, jubbly. Anyway, guys, and they are selling quick as well. They are. We've got fuck all left to be fair, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll be back out in the cars at work very soon. We'll give giving you updates on the Sylvia. As you can see, Peck kindly organised all the Sylvia engine stuff over there. <laughs> Uh, but That's we'll have to work that out at some point. And uh, hey, Dan Joyce is coming. That'd be fine. Dan Joyce, Lewis, and Dean. I think we're probably gonna have to do a whole squad to. Help, help you. But I'm gonna get all the bolts and stuff, um, zinc coated and stuff mm. first, and then nice try and tidy and the other stuff up. There's no point in rushing it now, is there? No. Um, yeah, sound. I hope you're enjoying the features. Go check out my GR Yaris video I did. It's a fucking dope car. If I had the money, well, I say if I had the money, if I sold some of this shit, I'd definitely buy one. But. I love my old crap too much, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Unless you want to give me one. Hint, hint, what, what? And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to love you and leave you, dudes. Uh, check out 621.com, all your parts you'll ever need. Uh, we can get everything. I mean that, almost. And uh, anything for Hondas, really, anyway. So drop us a message. Support your boy. It will mean a lot, and then I won't have to keep accepting sponsorships for fucking crap stuff for a £25 a fucking segment. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me just have my own money, and I won't fucking force feed you junk on YouTube. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.